Hello, hello, it's Maria. I'm a reporter here with WW Magazine, here to take you on another magical escape. Today I'm coming to you from right outside the gates of Epcot. As you can see behind me, they've got the Food and Wine Festival wraps on, which means I am here to preview the 2023 Epcot Food and Wine Festival. I hear the rumors that the Muppets might be appearing today and that I might get to taste a few of the new items coming to this year's festival. So without further ado, I'm going to scan in and head to the Odyssey for the preview. Let's go! Although the festival does not officially start until tomorrow, they already have the 2023 entryway decorations up. They look great and of course at the centerpiece of it all is the host, Remy! As I'm walking through Epcot, I'm seeing that all of the booths are set up with the names on them, and they also have the menus out here too. So here's Flavor from Fire, and here is an example of what those Food and Wine Festival menus will look like. Ooh, look how cute! The outside of the Odyssey is decorated for that Muppet experience. I even see some pickles for that highly coveted and quite interesting new pickle milkshake. The entire back wall of the Odyssey building has been turned into a science taste test lab where the Muppets will periodically appear on this screen here and let you in on their tasting experiments that they're doing here. the ceiling here they've also added some real three-dimensional physical props to kind of bulk out and fill in the space they have an exploded cupcake right up there a heat advisory obviously for those wings that are super hot they're experimenting with that sauce and just a lot of really neat Muppet Henson inspired decoration even more science inspired props we see the DNA strand over there I see some lollipops and test tubes right up here we've got a microscope some kitchen cooking utensils really neat just so well themed in here on the walls here beneath the screens they've put up different posters again highlighting the experiments that the Muppets are carrying out here but also highlighting the different menu items here for example neat ways to eat a chicken wing because brewing lab is featured in here the electric pickle of course because they've got that pickle milkshake so really make sure you take a look around when you're in the odyssey there are a lot of hidden little treasures in here and even look up to the ceiling when you're here as well look at the tables they've even themed the tables for this festival to the muppets science experiments that will be happening in here really really cute and thorough theming in here so far Okay, I am getting to try four of the items here from the Odyssey building, which is part of the Muppets Taste Lab experience. Here in front of me, these are the plant-based variety of the chicken wings. Looks like you get five of them in there. It's a really decent portion. There are some crispy Brussels sprouts over here. And of course, those unnecessarily hot wings that the Muppets have concocted. And I could not possibly leave without giving this pickle milkshake a try. I'm gonna start off with the plant-based buffalo chicken tenders. They are delicious. I'm really, really enjoying these. They do have a little bit of a kick, just like a regular buffalo sauce would. And they have a plant-based cheese and a crema drizzled over the top, which does slightly offset that heat. It's nothing too, too spicy. I'm somebody who has a decent tolerance to spice and it doesn't bother me or anything like that, but it has that buffalo kick. So keep that in mind. Again, really coated in the sauce, which is what I really appreciate here about all of the wings here at Brewing. They all seem to be really coated, the two that I got in the sauce. They're not skimping on that at all. And they're really a good portion size. Like, I easily could have shared this plant-based portion of these wings with somebody else, especially if you are going around to the festival and wanting to try a lot of different items. This is a great, great shareable one. I highly recommend it, very good. All right, Brew Wing, you are two for two in Maria's book so far here today. These Brussels sprouts are phenomenal. They almost taste like candy. They're coated in like a maple-y, I don't even know, drizzle sauce that they are then like fried in. 
so, so good. And they have that same plant-based crema and cheese on top. So if you are a vegetarian, don't be put off by that. Even if you're vegan, that even counts too. So it is a vegan item, not just vegetarian. Both the buffalo chicken tenders and the Brussels sprouts, 100% vegan. As I'm continuing to eat these Brussels sprouts, they're actually tossed in like an orangish kind of sauce that almost gives them a sweetness in addition to that char that they have. Again, I really am enjoying these. Really shareable, great choice. I feel like I have to take the first sip of this on camera. It's only, it's a pickle milkshake. I have no idea what it's going to taste like and I need to document the experience of this. So cheers, here we go. Okay, I can see where they got the name for it. All right, I've taken several sips of this pickle milkshake at this point, and my first impression was correct. It definitely does taste like pickles at the beginning. When you first sip it, my first initial impression definitely is of that briny, pickly flavor. It is not a total milkshake consistency in my opinion. It's got some like icy shards in it that make it feel like a cross between an icy slushy but it does give way to a creamy, almost vanilla-y flavor at the end of it. So yeah, up front, you absolutely do get a pickle flavor. I thought it might taste more like a cucumber, like they call it a pickle milkshake, but it would really taste more like a cucumber mint, something that they do actually put in milkshakes. No, this is definitely a super unique flavor. If you're somebody who likes pickles, I will say it's refreshing because it's freezing cold and it's 97 degrees outside today. So this whole festival is probably gonna be on the warm side. So if you want something refreshing, definitely cold and will definitely do the trick to cool you down but if you're not someone who likes that pickle flavor it is definitely on the pickle side more than it is the cucumber side it does give way to a creamy almost milkshake like flavor but even now as I'm talking I'm still tasting that pickly briny flavor so it is absolutely interesting the little container you can take home that's definitely gonna be a coveted item so give it a try if you're here if you like pickles why not if my eyes are watering or my speech is slurred is because I just tried that unnecessarily spicy wing. This is not theme park level spicy, everyone. This is not that, oh, it's a little bit spicy, but they toned down the heat level because they're trying to appeal to the masses in the theme parks. No, this is very, very spicy. I honestly wasn't expecting it. And earlier I was like, oh yeah, I have a good tolerance to spice when I was talking about those buffalo wings. I was able to take two bites of this and it is really hot. Now, I also was able to sample the cider flight today, and if you are going to try those hot wings, which are scorching hot, I would say if you're a beer drinker, get the beer flight. If you're a cider drinker, get the cider flight. Definitely helps offset and cool you down in between bites. This is another item I would recommend sharing, unless you have a Superman tolerance to heat. It would be hard, in my opinion, to get through a whole order of these when it's really warm outside. So this would be a perfect item to share, to really test and see among your party who has the highest tolerance to spice because they are indeed very, very spicy folks. Just to touch briefly on the cider flight, from left to right, we have a Tropicolata hard cider, a peach berry hard cider, and a raspberry lemonade hard cider. They're all definitely unique in flavor. However, none of them are extremely overpowering. That's one thing that I really like about ciders is that you can tend to drink them. And even if you're not a fan of sweet or bubbly drinks, they tend to kind of sit in the middle. And all of these do, they're all very approachable. The Tropicolata, the first one that I tried, definitely has that pina colada aftertaste to it. Again, nothing overpowering. Where the one in the center, the berry, was I would say the most refreshing and bright of the three. And the final one, I really got a raspberry flavor as opposed to a lemon. So again, a really nice compliment to the wings here, especially those super hot ones. We are here with Chef Ashley at the Food and Wine Festival preview. Now, Chef Ashley just told me that 35% of this year's offerings at the festival are brand new. So Chef Ashley, what are the items that you're most looking forward to highlighting from that new menu? So one of the first places that we're really excited for highlighting is going to be our new global marketplace over at, in Flavors of America Ooh. and basically we kind of took a trip down Route 66 and hit some key points that we thought we would like to showcase this time around. So over in the Pacific Northwest 
Uh, we are going with our chipino, our nice, very flavorful seafood stew uh, with a nice tomato fennel broth. And we have a lot of fresh seafood involved with that. So we have scallops, mussels, clams, and shrimp all ready to go from that. Uh, the next a new item that we have from there also is going to be coming from the Midwest and that is our hot beef Italian sandwich. So it is our nice take from that. Some really nice shaved beef with some beef au jus, spicy jardiniere, and a nice French roll for that. Awesome, sounds delicious, thank you. It's very delicious. Here is an overview of the food items that Chef Ashley was just talking about, and you'll also see some of the items that I got to sample here today as well. Here on this display, you'll also notice some new items like the guava cake, the Canadian filet mignon, and the chimichurri marinated skirt steak, all coming to the 2023 Food and Wine Festival. While I had to preview this year's merchandise, tune in for a word from my friends over at WW Magazine. Subscribe to WDW Magazine and escape to Walt Disney World every single month. This large format glossy magazine is filled with content, not ads. Subscribe now and don't miss another month of magic. Here is an overview of this year's merchandise. We are standing on this picnic blanket, which is highlighted right here. It folds up and you can then take that with you to the beach or on a picnic. Oh, this is kind of picnic inspired, including one of my favorite items. Look at this. This is a little deconstructed burger, but it's actually a silicone coaster set. You can stack it up and make a burger. Every single one of the pieces is branded with this year's Food and Wine Festival. Here it is all wrapped up. This is amazing. I love this. You can put all of your glasses on this at home. Another new item that they're featuring this year is this really, really cute at home raised up wine and cheese board. It's got four slots for wine glasses, a wine bottle slot there too, and you can put a nice cheese plate or charcuterie plate in there to host at home. A couple other items that they have here, of course, we've got this year's ear set. We have some corksicles for this year. These are really nice, nice large size corksicles, and they also have the wine glass size here as well. Really cute. Look at little Mickey on there. He's so darn cute. There is a Tupperware container here too, which has this year's logo on it. Perfect for sandwiches for those kids or for you taking to your school or work lunches. We do also have a hat here too, and some of this year's pins. And last but not least, is the lounge fly for wow, this yes. year. Look oh, at did that. You see the inside? Show me the inside, please. Please. Oh, look at that. It's beautiful. It is. Thank you so much. <laughs> To be featured in Connections Cafe during this year's Food and Wine Festival, there is going to be this Remy Liege waffle. It has cream cheese icing, graham cracker crumbs, and a Remy chocolate garnish. Hey everyone, we are here at Epcot International Food and Wine Festival. Eat to the Beat, presented by Florida Blue and Medicare, has made its way back, and we want you all to come out and enjoy. What a great way to end all of the eating and drinking that you're gonna do around the world. Then with these individuals. I mean, we have new individuals making their debut or my personal favorite, Boys to Men, who are coming, or Sheila E. Anyone that you really want to see, you will find all the information on the My Disney Experience app for those special VIP packages. Or if you just want to walk up and see who's there and then keep going, by all means do it. We hope to see you all real soon. Thank you so much. See you. Here we have an overview of the brand new Encanto themed merchandise line coming exclusively to Epcot for the Food and Wine Festival this year. Now, the focus of this collection is home. Everything that you see here from this pitcher collection with glasses inside of it, to this amazing Madrigal family kitchen set with a hot pad and towel there. There are the glasses individually. They're really, really nice. You can see they have all the different family members here. We got Luisa, we got Mirabelle on there. We can't talk about them, but we do have Bruno. Really, really cute. There's also a plate set here as well that features Mirabelle and the Madrigal Casa. There is this really nice tumbler. It is insulated here, very colorful featuring everything that the movie Encanto has to offer, including some of the items here that are featured at the Food and Wine Festival. And finally, we have a really cute serving tray that is in the shape of the Madrigal house. So a really cute home display here featuring Encanto exclusive to this year's Food and Wine Festival. And that is going to do it for me here today at the 2023 Food and Wine Festival preview. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and to subscribe to our channel for more content just like this coming your way as we explore the festival this year. Thanks again for watching everyone and I'll see you in the next Magical Escape.